What's up guys, it's Rowan C23 here for Center Future Gaming. And on my second Let's Play video, I've already had a technical mishap. <laughs> my, my little microphone thingy was not down for half the video, so I ended up having to uh, redo it. <laughs> and since I saved after I did the video, I had to play the first one again. So if there's any uh, variation between scores or anything, well, that is the reason why. So without further ado, let us continue on to... Sector 2. <clears throat> there we go. Hi, this is Dan again. You're now in Sector 2 of the military complex. There's a medical bay nearby where some of the experiments on nanotechnology took place. You should be able to find and assimilate a powerful upgrade there. It'll be hard to get anywhere without it. Remember that you're heading for a Tassin named Katera, as you may be able to convince him to make the Tassin and their spaceship leave the planet. I may be able to convince him? You don't even know if this is possible? Well, no, considering his reputation, but it's all we can do at the time. I need more information on a certain subject first. What subject? I can't tell you yet. I said earlier that we have to take this one step at a time. I don't think you can handle it all at once. <laughs> I'm not a child! And besides, you still haven't told me why the whole alien invasion thing has gone unnoticed by the rest of the world! Well, that's because their spaceship was really well stealthed. And, well, stop asking questions and head for Katera already. Alright, got it. Doesn't look like you're telling me anything anyway. Alright, we are now in Sector 2. It's kind of lucky that we started off in Sector 1. It's pretty easy to keep track. And now... We have reached a new thing, which is crackable doors. We can walk up to them, and by moving our node to the red node, we can crack them. We can also crack boxes for nice little upgrades, like the resonance detonator. Now, this is a weapon combiner station. We can press two numbers of weapons that we have, and it'll tell us what crack level we need to combine them. Sadly, our crack level is one right now, so we're unable to do that. Now, these are a new enemy, Rocket Launcher Men. And I like to use, I'm gonna use my machine gun. Because it's fun to shoot them with a machine gun. However, my machine gun does not have that much energy. I think it will be enough to kill you. And you do not want to get hit by one of those rockets. It will directly take two health out of you, so not good. I'm gonna switch back to my shotgun. Great. Now, with this guy, you want to jump over him so he doesn't destroy that box you can crack. Even though I'm not sure if I can, wow, if I can crack it because I might not have the right level. Man, why is he being so hard to kill? Ow! Hey, he's like a superhuman one of these guys. Look, I've shot him at least 50 times. There we go. Alright. Ah, we can this for, uh, lots of experience. Wow, nice. Alright, and I want to get as much experience as I can, because I need to increase my crack. I'll use the machine gun in these days. It seems like it kills them faster. These things can blow up over here. Violently as well. Going up the lift. Kick this guy. I'm loving getting all this experience. Jump over these strategically placed boxes and into here. We already have the machine gun. Lots of experience in this level. Alright, now we can increase our pack level. We'll increase it to level 4. We're going for it all here, so. We still can't get over that lid. We're gonna have to get something to do that. Now this thing is a nano spark. It's a weird thing. It explodes every once in a while and 
kills enemies that way. It's kind of fun to use. Alright, we opened the medical bay door. Jason is the door on the side. Alright, now this thing is a checkpoint. But it's only it will only work once, so we need we still need to be careful. I forgot that those guys can punch you like that. That, that hurts. Got him. Alright, switch back to my shotgun here. Shoot through this door. And there is our jump upgrade. Hmm, health. Should I up? I can't upgrade. Great work, AG. You found the upgrade. This will allow you to jump higher so you can reach new areas. Really? I thought the giant jump and a boot symbol on it was just decorative. Could this be? Another one of Maya's ribbons! Wait, what's this? It's another one of Maya's ribbons! Some rat must have dropped it and dragged it in here. Mia, or Maya, depending on which video. You probably weren't far from Dad and me when the Tassin struck this place. Looks like me and Dan are the only ones who survived. Wait, I have to find Kratera. I gotta focus. Whee! Alright, punch. Kick. Running right into these guys is not something to worry Ow. <laughs> Apparently that thing was equipped with a rocket launcher. Alright, we have lots of things we can upgrade here. What haven't I upgraded that I should? I don't know if I assimilate this okay. I, no, I need more health. I really could use more health. Alright, I can't get up there, but I can finally get up this ledge. For a bucket load of experience, and fighting another one of these guys. You do not want to get hit by one of those across range. Oh, look out. Oh! My god. Alright. Now, down here, was there something? Okay, there isn't. Now I need one of those weapon combined stations, because if you remember, I need a crack level of 4 to combine those two weapons, and now I have a crack level of 4. This high security door can be opened by cracking a ter terminal above. You could also try cracking the door directly, but I doubt you can handle it. Wh what's that supposed to mean? What? The door is hard to crack. I didn't mean to insult you. Drop the attitude. You're just making this difficult. <laughs> Looks like you like you'd survive one minute in my shoes. What? I can't hear you when you whisper like that. Crack the door directly or find the turn. Fuck. Well, contrary to Dan's belief, I can crack this door, thank you very much. Alright, and I finally have one of these nano weapon stations. One and five. Alright, and now I have the resonance reflector. Hybrid of the shotgun and resonance detonator. This weapon uses no ammunition. The devious nano weapon cannot deal any direct damage, but is able to reflect mass based projectiles such as rockets, MP MPFB, and shock splinter. However, it cannot reflect instant hit weapons or the pulse cannon weapon types. Another way to select the resonance reflectors by pressing AMD until the resonance estimator is dead, is selected, and then pressing this. Oh, so I can press AMD to switch between weapons. I was unaware of that. Probably was at one point. Whoa! I forgot about it. That was pro. Whee. Apparently, I can't get any more experience. Sadly, I like having experience. Hmm. Only there, I had a more powerful weapon. I could, or I could just run over there. I guess. But if I do run over there, I'll get hurt by the blast. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was probably not a good idea. Yeah. Let's crack this up. What's that? Unknown ammo. It looks fancy though. Alright, going down 
and ventilation jet. Even more experience that we cannot use, but it does repair our armor, so I guess that's a good thing. More machine gun ammo that I cannot use. Um, let's get a simulate up so I can get it. Now I can carry 20 machine gun ammo. And here's the exit! Huh? There's a balcony up there. E.G. don't go out there. What? Why not? Because I don't want you to see what it looks like. You're not ready for that yet. What do you mean, not ready? I just want to go outside and look around. But you won't like it, trust me. It's for your own good. Gee, stop hiding everything from me. I'd like to know what's going on around here, too. Maybe I'd just like to get some fresh air for once. See what the Tassin spaceship looks like. But, look, just be careful up there, okay? <laughs> huh? No, no. He, he said there was only one. Oh, no. Yes. That is a lot of Tassin. E.G. Leave me alone! You... you liar! Listen, I tried to warn you. I lied to you because there was no way you would accept to do this otherwise. But now you know. The Tassin commanded an entire armada, and the Alpha strike the whole planet. The strike was a weak one, to avoid destroying the surface completely, but the human survivors are few. This military complex is nothing but an outpost for the Tassin's battle cruisers. That's why they left it intact. The rest of the world isn't looking any brighter. I know. It's not much of a world to save, but... It's just a dream, isn't it? Please, tell me, Dan. Stay calm. I don't want you to lose control. That's the most dangerous thing you can do. You have to trust me, and you have to believe that we can convince Kratera to make them leave. But... I'm not some kind of... I was just... Damn it! I knew this would happen! Everything. All of this will be for nothing unless you make it to Kratera! Ichi, we'll make it. Okay? Okay. Good. I should have told you earlier to leave your feelings behind. I forgot that you weren't, haven't been around here for the last six months. Dan. I... Maybe you think I'm pushing you too hard, but please. Unless you keep moving, they'll catch up to you. Right. I don't want to be me either. Dan, you're still kind of bossy. Alright. Sector 2. Complete. Alright guys, well, I guess that's it for today. I'll save my game for the second time and hopefully my audio actually works. <sighs> this is Rowan C23 from Centrifuge Gaming, signing off.